Good morning, Mrs. Qureshi. How are you today? Good morning, Dr. Salman. I am okay. I am just confused about something. I was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, and the doctor said that my kidneys have failed. He says that I need to go on hemodialysis. What is hemodialysis? Is it painful? Yeah, no problem. I'm sorry to hear about that, Mrs. Qureshi. Hemodialysis is used when a person's kidneys have stopped working. It is a process in which blood is filtered using an artificial filtering system. The average human body contains about 6 liters of blood. In hemodialysis, about a half a liter of blood is removed from the body and filtered at a time. The procedure does not hurt itself. There are two needle sticks involved in the transfer and filtration of blood, and these may pinch a bit going in, but there is no pain afterwards. You can even ask your doctor for numbing medicine before the needles go in. Oh, okay. Thanks, doctor. I thought it would be painful. How does hemodialysis work? For sure, Mrs. Qureshi. To start off, it is very important for the nurse to check your blood pressure, temperature, and heart rate. The nurse will also check your weight. The weight and blood pressure will tell us if extra fluid needs to be removed from the blood. If your blood pressure is high, for example, it indicates that there is too much fluid in your blood. Next, the nurse needs to be able to get blood from your body to the dialyzer and back to your body again. This is accomplished through creating an access. There are three types of accesses in hemodialysis, a fistula, a graft, and a venous catheter. The most common access is a fistula, and we will only be focusing on that today. A fistula is made by connecting an artery to a vein. This is usually done in the forearm. A fistula is much easier for the hemodialysis process because it doesn't get clogged easily and there is a faster and stronger blood flow through here. This makes it easier for more blood to get filtered as the blood rushes out faster. Next, the patient needs two points in their skin on their forearm. One needle stick goes in the first point and this takes blood out of the patient to be filtered. The next needle stick goes in the second point where the filtered blood is returned to the body. It is very important to know that blood never passes through the machine. The blood only passes through an artificial filtration system that is similar to a water filtration system in a bottle. In the water filtration system, water is filtered by passing through thick material so that waste is separated from the water. In this same way, blood is filtered in hemodialysis. The blood filtration system contains different fibers and substances that separate and suck wastes out of the blood. Okay, doctor, but if I go on hemodialysis, how will it help me? Well, Mrs. Qureshi, it is important to know that without hemodialysis, your body wouldn't be able to filter blood by itself and toxic waste would build up in your blood and body. Hemodialysis provides an alternative to kidneys through cleaning and filtering blood. Hemodialysis is effective just like healthy kidneys as body fluids such as water and important minerals are balanced in the body very efficiently. For example, if the person's body contained too much salt, the person would be dehydrated. Through hemodialysis, the excess salt is removed. Okay, thanks very much, doctor. I am feeling more comfortable now and ready to go on hemodialysis. My pleasure, Mrs. Qureshi. Let's get started.